sponsored by 666bet.com. Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marba and 666bet. We're at the final press conference with Cleverly and Bellew here in Liverpool with me. I've got fellow Liverpudlian. Well, now that means I'm Liverpudlian, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, just... Liverpudlian. <laughs> Natasha Jonas, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Excited about this show this week? I think it's a, a brilliant line There's a lot of good fights that I can't wait to see, so it should be good. What do you think about the main event? Who are you picking? Every time I do it, I get it wrong, so I I, I, I'm, I'm just going to keep it to myself. I, I'll place my bets and then see where it goes. What do you think about the build-up to this fight between the two of them? It's been very heated, um, but I think... It, it was always going to end up that way. It's very emotional for some, and you know, others are like playing it down. But it's it's going to be. I just, I just can't wait for it to happen. It's going to be amazing. Has Tony become a bit too uh, emotionally involved in this fight? Like people, the build up to it. People say that, and, and I do think um, cleverly just get, gets under the skin a bit like the gross and frat first one, but. Um, you know, it's, it's the sportsman at the end of the day and you've got to put their emotions aside for the, the, for the fight itself. So hopefully they don't come too attached. And it is only a sport at the end of the day. I like to see them shake hands and that at the end. Yeah, we would just want to see them kicking <laughs> off. <laughs> um, what do you think about the, the difference in weight? Who's that going to benefit more? I think that um, benefits Tony. I, mean, I think uh, Nathan Cleverley um, on one of the... Sky Sports interviews look really, really good on the pads, um, but I do think the the the, um, the weight difference will that's not value's natural weight, so I do think he'll have a lot more power and um, behind the shot if, if he needs that anyway. But he, he's got it, and yeah, I think I just think a few people are saying that Tony will show at cruiserweight what he was doing in the amateur days, where he's like knocking everyone out and really showing that power, showing it a light heavyweight but better at cruiserweight to show. Exactly what you can do. Yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit more natural for him. He's less strained. He's less. Yeah, so I think he can fill out a bit more and put it on in, in in a positive way. But yeah, it'd be nice if we could see his, his old amateur style coming back and knocking everyone out. That'd be nice for him, but it'd be nice for everyone else to watch. But apart from cleverly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think I don't know. Maybe cleverly's. A, I'd like to think he's a bit too clever for that. Without pun on words, but you know, it'd be a good fight either way. Certainly hope so. Give us uh, an update about yourself. Um, currently back for the second week of training um, with GB after a long spell out. Um, I tore two ligaments in my big toe. So Ooh. I know it's painful. <laughs> it sounds painful. Very I know, painful. I, so it's a slow road back. Hopefully I'll be back boxing again next year. But just keep your fingers crossed that everything goes well and maybe recovery goes well and the progression goes well. All right. You're looking at my feet to see which one it is, aren't you? Can't tell. You've got very lovely red shoes on. <laughs> so. And they match your top as well. So it's very coordinated today, yeah. Natasha. Thank you. Um, all right, well, listen, you're going to be at the fight this week? I am, yeah. All right, we'll catch up with you then. All right, thanks, thanks. a lot. The Big Fight, sponsored by 666bet.com.